Hey guys, Podem here. When it comes to the Pokemon anime, most people like to talk about the main protagonist Ash Ketchum. But along his journey, Ash has made many different friends and each of those friends he's made and travelled with has had their own personality and Pokemon. So I thought for this video, instead of talking about Ash, I take a look at one of his most beloved travelling companions, Misty. As you guys know, Misty is the gym leader of the Cerulean City Gym, and she loves to use water type Pokemon. So in this video, you guys join me to count down the top 5 Pokemon owned by Misty in the Pokemon anime. Of course, this is all in my opinion, so if you don't agree with what I say, be sure to let me know down in the comments. But with all that being said, let's get started with the video. Kicking off this list is one of Misty's most underrated Pokemon. It's her Corsola. Misty obtained this Pokemon back in the Johto anime in the episode titled A Corsola Caper. And throughout her adventure in the Johto region, Misty used her Corsola quite a bit and it was a pretty powerful Pokemon too. Personally, I really like Corsola. It's a great Pokemon and I'm glad it had such a good representation in the anime. Also, this Pokemon's personality was pretty joyous and it was nice to tune into the show and see this Pokemon just happily skipping around. Because Corsola was a powerful fighter with a happy spirit, it's a Pokemon that I like, so it takes the number 5 spot. Coming in at the number 4 spot is one of Misty's most iconic Pokemon. It's her Staryu. Now, for a while in the Kanto anime, Misty owned both this Pokemon and its evolution Starmie. But ultimately, Staryu was the Pokemon that stuck around on Misty's team. Personally, I don't think this Pokemon had much of a personality, but it was still a Pokemon that Misty often relied on to battle in the anime. And due to it quite often being on my TV screen, when I was younger, I really liked this Pokemon. Something I like about Staryu's design is the little jewel that it has in the middle of its body. And and it uses this duel to communicate as well. I remember whenever Staryu lost a fight and it fainted, its duel would flash red and I thought this was cool because it was different. So yeah, Staryu's a Pokemon of Misty's that I like and for that, it gets a spot on the list. During the Orange Island saga of the Pokemon anime, Misty added a Pokemon to her party that later turned into a funny and iconic Pokemon of hers. I am of course talking about Misty's Politoed. Misty caught this Pokemon as a Poliwag, and even though she didn't always use it to battle with, it was still pretty cute. It was when it evolved into Poliwhirl that Misty started using this Pokemon more regularly in battles and to its credit, it was good at battling. In the Johto anime, Misty's Poliwhirl evolved once again into a Politoed after holding the King's Rock. And after it evolved, this Pokemon became somewhat of a jester. It was enthusiastic and it loved to please people, and it always gave everyone a bit of a laugh. Politoed is one of Misty's Pokemon that just truly deserved to make it onto this list. Coming in at the number 2 spot is one of the funniest Pokemon to ever grace the Pokemon anime. It's Misty Psyduck. During her travels through the Kanto region, Misty picked up this duck Pokemon and added it to her team. Psyduck seemed to be a bit of a clueless Pokemon and sometimes that wound up its trainer. Misty screaming at her Psyduck was always something that I found funny and it was one of the best things about the anime to me. Misty Psyduck wasn't exactly a battle ready Pokemon and for that you might just think it's a bit weak. However, whenever Psyduck got a headache, it turned into one of the most powerful Pokemon on Misty's team. Psyduck is a well-known Pokemon of Misty's, and because I love it so much, it's earned a spot on this video. And 
And finally, coming in at the number one spot on this list is Misty's Togetic. Of course, we all know this Pokemon best as the Togepi that Misty always carried around with her. Togepi's personality, much like other Pokemon of Misty's, was very cheerful and upbeat. And this Pokemon just added a lot of happiness to the Pokemon anime. One of the best things about Togepi was the friendship that it had with Ash's Pikachu. These Pokemon were very much like brothers, in the sense that Pikachu always had Togepi's back. When Togepi hatched from an egg, everyone wanted to add it to their team. But honestly, I think it best belonged with Misty. During the Hoenn anime, Misty and Togepi returned for the Mirage Kingdom saga, which of course saw Togepi evolve into Togetic. And sadly, we also had to see Misty release Togetic. This was a really sad moment, and wherever Togetic is now, I hope that it's happy because that's what it deserves to be. Togetic or Togepi was an iconic and great Pokemon owned by Misty. But anyway guys, with all that being said, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, be sure to let me know who some of your favourite Pokemon owned by Misty are down in the comment section. But with all that being said, for now, I've been Pokedan, you've been amazing, and I'll see you guys next time.